とってもいいことだと思うわそれそれは繰り返す破壊と再生崩壊と創造の神話祈り満ちる久遠の世界に最後の神は君臨し続けるフェイトグランドオーダーコスモス・イン・ザ・ロストベルト創世滅亡輪廻ユガクシェートラ好評配信中 Hello, everyone. Welcome back for some more Let's Play Fate Grand Order.、Uh, we are heading on back to Deval because we kind of did some stuff in the southern town, but it didn't really work out the best. We learned some, we lost some. It's all good. More importantly, we learned Pepperuccino's true name, which I really hope、uh, gets expounded upon because why is everyone's like, your name is Murenji? What does that mean? Advancement impulse, people and the girl. This. I don't know, the word impulse gives me big vibes of a certain subset of Type Moon Media, you know? The word impulse comes up a lot in Tsukihime. That's inversion impulse, though, not advancement impulse. Honestly, I don't think the name on your birth certificate matters that much. What really matters is what people think of you and what they call you. That says so much more about who you really are than a name in some database ever could. Just look at all the famous historical figures who aren't known by the names they were given at birth. You ever had. You even had some in Kaldia, like Billy the Kid and Blackbeard, right? So there's no reason I can't. Ah,、uh, just tell us your real name already. Will you listen to me this important, damn it? Oh, the hell with it. It's Aro, okay? My old name is Mu Renji Aro. Does that, does that mean anything? Mu Renji Aro. So that's your real name? Huh. I had a feeling you were Japanese. I didn't. So where the heck did Pepperuccino come from? Hmm. So you had your suspicions all along, did you, Tanner? You're surprisingly observant, aren't you? You little devil, you. I'm impressed you figured that out before I did when I've known Pepe longer, senpai. I guess I still have a lot to learn about being more observant. Yeah, but to be fair, you only knew Japanese people from like the probably couple in Kaldia, whereas we lived in Japan beforehand, so. Anyway, it really doesn't mean anything to me, so I'd rather you just keep calling me Sexy Pepe as always. In fact, don't even bother calling me that other name, because I won't respond. Foo foo. And don't ask me anything else about where I came from or who I was before Kaldia. Besides, there's nothing, that,、uh, there's nothing there that isn't in my Team A profile. All you need to know is that after I left Japan for the West and started really enjoying my life, one thing led to another and I ended up getting to know some people at the Clock Tower. Eventually, m e r i s p u r invited me to Kaldia, saying my combat experience was just what he needed to make up for the、uh, academic bend of all the other mages. And now, here we are. So then, you must have been born to a mage family, right?、Uh, Shugendo, was it? I'd love to learn more about it, but since it's the foundation of Far Eastern Magecraft and all, please, puppy dog eyes. Don't try to milk the whole little girl up here. Okay, sorry. Those first words there kind of threw me off. Don't try to milk the whole little girl appearance thing. It's demeaning. I've heard that Shugendo is a mix of Buddhism and. A mountain worship unique to Japan. Did m e r s p u r i t bring you on to serve as Team A's guide, or perhaps an overseer of sorts? Well, that makes sense, because it'd been Fuyuki, right? Survival is crucial when Ray shifting to an unfamiliar location, after all. Perhaps it was your job to keep an eye on the others and ensure they would survive even in harsh environments. Hmm. <laughs> I'll say it was something like that and leave it there. I remember you saying something about being able to use divine power before. But then, how come the names of the spells you use in battle don't sound anything like Shugendo? That's just because I made them up myself. Traditional Japanese names are lacking a certain、uh, je ne sais quoi. Anyway, as much as I love me, I'd love a different topic of conversation even more. Shouldn't we be discussing our next course of action? He makes a good point. Honestly, I don't care what his name is. We should be fig- trying to figure out how we can possibly take down Arjuna. Yes, you're absolutely right. I do think we're on the right track, but I can't help but think we're still missing something crucial. Alright, l enough stalling. You've got something in mind, don't you? Uh huh. Who? Me? Yes, you. It's obvious you know something, just like you did earlier. It's written all over your face. Ah, she sure doesn't want for conviction. Hmm, <laughs> you got me. 
David really is something else. I guess is what you call natural intuition. The more godlike a god is, the stronger they are. Well, that's it in a nutshell. And it's exactly what we need to be reminded of. What do you mean? It couldn't be more basic. Think about it. What makes a god a god? Here, let me put it another way. Which kind of god do you think is stronger? One nobody's ever heard of, or one everyone believes in and prays to? Now I see. The basic indeed. A fact so elementary that I fail to consider it. I can't tell if you're serious or this is just sour grapes. There's something similar for servants too. I think it's called a fame bonus. Oh yeah, now that you've pointed it out, it really is a simple problem. The reason Arjuna's got here isn't because he collected every divinity in the land for himself. It's also because the people here worship him as a god. But what would happen if they didn't consider him a god anymore? Well, his divine strength would be reduced. Precisely, Director. I still get it. It means the fewer people who believe Arjuna's a god, the weaker he'll become. Ganesh is super popular, so I don't have any idea what it feels like to have faith in you fade away. No, really. I see, so it's like asking where I can be a greater hero. The India that knows me or the India that doesn't. By virtue of who I am, I can of course be a great hero in either, but there's still bound to be a difference. If these two versions of me were to throw their Brahmastras at one another, the victor would surely be the one from the India that knows me, and there would definitely be an observable gap between the two. Now I get it, so then, how can we get people here to stop believing in Arjuna? Ah, uh, well there's a great place to find out! Tival, then you're saying my resistance was not for naught after all? Not at all. If anything, you already did the hardest work of making our first toehold. I'm super grateful. To be honest, I had had my doubts about my actions here. While I never doubted my conviction that this world was wrong and desperately needed to be fixed, I did wonder if my efforts here were meaningful and whether there was anything to be gained by involving the people of this land in my fight. This war I started, people have gotten hurt. I may be a queen and a commander, but I am not so saintly as I am made out to be. I still have my doubts. I do believe in what I'm doing, but I'm not so naive that I never thought to question it. I have never forgotten what one of the locals told me back when this began. They said that what I was doing was meaningless, that I was pointlessly endangering innocents, getting them hurt. But it wasn't meaningless after all, was it? It sure wasn't. Your village is showing us the way forward. Now we just have to keep spreading the gospel, so to speak. It might not be easy, but your village has proven that these people can change their minds. Who's to say the same can't happen somewhere else? You're right. Once we get back to Deval, I'll talk to the villagers and ask them to help us out spread the movement. I expect the people of this land will be much more receptive to them than they would be to someone like me. Sure, but every movement needs a charismatic leader like yourself, you know. Oh, a movement to get the people here to resist the current state of the world. I know that would help us, but... Oh, I see you realize the paradox with this plan, Mashi. Figured you might... Yeah, we're gonna fight to change this world. Also, bye, you're getting erased. Enjoy nothingness. Good, our plan of action is set. Let's be on our way. You know, I think I even feel lighter on my feet now. Uh, speak for yourself, all the bad karma I racked up as an unemployed bum is still weighing me down. I wish there was a wagon or something here right now. Well, I wouldn't ha even have to have any seats. Really, I don't care what I ride on as long as I don't have to walk. Woo-foo! <laughs> Did you just jump on me like I'm the one who should be giving you a ride, you weird cat thing? Can I just know me a pack mule? Do you think you're more important than a god? I mean, you're really so cute. I guess you can ride, but still. Foo-foo, cute? It is pretty damn cute. We cannot... We cannot get around that. Ah, uh, okay. We got some Lancers, and we have a... Rider. Okay, okay. Um, you know what? Let's pop out you, because we haven't used you for a while. And then otherwise, to kill the Rider, we got you. Sounds good. Let's give this a go. Hello, that's a sound. 
What's happening? Oh, jeez! Look like the walled city is no more. What the? What happened here? Lady Lakshmi, you're back, thank goodness. I'm glad you're alright. What in the world? No, wait. I know what happened here now. It's them. Ah, they're trying to get the dead body. Yes, it's a sacred beasts. A number of them suddenly showed up at once, even though no one had died and the Kali weren't even attacking us. We can figure out why later. Right now, there are buildings being destroyed and people being attacked. I'm sure you know what it is you need to do, Master. We gotta drive them beasties away. Damn it, I knew it. Does this mean you won't let me forget after all? Oh. Forget what? Am I, am, I, am I missing something that was supposed to be a thing for the plot about her forgetting? Huh. We'll see. Boy, it sure do be loading. Alright, so... Hey, thank you for that. Uh, first battle here. So we could start with a full combo with you, actually. In fact, might be smart to just go all out from the start. Um, get your HP going. And let's go one, two, three. Do as much as you can here. Alright, not bad. And can we do... We can do one, two, three. The first two should kill. But we'll see. Oh, the first one did. Very nice. Yo, that damage though. Very nice. That critical up was quite helpful. Okay. So let's go one, two, three. Should get you a bunch of meter. Decent amount. Okay. Save that for the next one. And, ooh, perfect. One, two, three. Do your stuff. Okay, so, man, these numbers being lower just, it, it, it drives you crazy because by playing this enough, you start to mentally sort of get the ideas of how much each sort of, you know, combo is going to do and you kind of have like a mental idea, but because it's all not 100%, you know, correct thanks to the thing. It's just slightly off, and just by it being slightly off, you're like, you make those mistakes about thinking, hey, I got this. Alright, what do we got? Oh, hey, yes, we've seen you in the Lost Belt. You're a Mahanaga. You're just a regular enemy. I thought you were going to be something a lot more. That's interesting. And actually, it's a bad matchup for you guys. Huh. Okay. Let's lower... You know what? Yeah, let's... Let's pop that on. Get that damage cut going. Right? And we can do a full combo with you. So let's do that there. Let's do some of this. Got Steve up resist buff chance. And this one gives you... Invincible... Chance to restore HP. Sure. You know what? Get your HP going, because you're going to need to be healing there. Yeah. So let's go... Uh, one, two, three. Right? And let's see how much this can do. Mm, decent amount. Wish that crit. 
Okay, Heavenly Tuning. Oh! You can remove my buffs! Oh boy! Oh boy! That's not good at all, huh? Okay, well, that's shocking. Cause that's kind of my whole game plan, huh? So let's just do this for now to do as much as we can, I guess. Yikers. Okay. Okay. Well, that's fine. We can bring in Mash and she can help us out. Um, we can actually do a full Mashy Mash combo. Might as well pop this just to get our skills going again. A little faster at least. Yeah, do do as much as you can. Okay. This dude's kind of a problem. Now I'll know. If, if I see a Lancer, it's probably actually something I should be fighting with full power. We got, you know, the Prince here, but he is quite low level compared to what we should be doing. Um, can we even, like, apply Invincible for yourself and increase... Hmm. We'll hold on to that for a second. Instead, we'll do that there. And you know what? Let's get you to dodge, so at least you have that there. And we can do this for big, dumb... Big, dumb hits. At least we get that crit rate down, which is good for those multi-hits, and I think we got this. Yes, we did. Alright. Okay, so, whenever those guys are out, that's a problem. So, sounds good. Alright. Are we going to address the uh, giant snake in the room? The Mahanaga? That takes care of all the sacred beasts, but I'm afraid. Our village. Why? Why did this happen? We drove away other sacred beasts and defeated Nezahi only a few days ago. Unfortunately, it is no surprise that this town may have drawn the enemy's notice. Forgive me. It's all right, Lady Lakshmi. This wasn't your fault. We just weren't strong enough. I mean, the good news is this will get repaired once we go back through the Yuga, although I don't think we have many chances left. There were more of them than we were expecting, and some bigger than any other sacred beast we'd ever seen before. Besides, they may have crushed our wall and destroyed our homes, but we still have our lives. At least that's how those of us who survived feel. But what are you going to do now? That wall was there to keep you safe from the Kali, right? Now that it's been destroyed... Forget fighting back. You can't even live here with your village in ruins like this. Based on my experience as a king, my suggestion is to abandon the village. I think that is your only choice. I understand how you feel, but there's just no way you can rebuild your defenses before the next Kali Yuga. As I see it, your only option is to stay in the closest nearby town. I think that would be Bichu until the Kali Yuga is over. No, that's... they can't. It's alright, Lady Lakshmi. He's right. We know we don't have any other choice. I hate to leave the village I grew up in, but we can always rebuild. We can't bring people back to life. I see. I may not be your king, but I commend your decision nonetheless. You are strong and brave people, and you should be proud of that. Ah, let's make sure they get there safely. Cause, you know, giant monsters, that's how it be. Yes, master, of course we will. Although, I'm a little uneasy about what will happen once we get there. Hey, no point in worrying about that now. Besides, that mayor guy looked like he'd turn over a new leaf. I'm sure it'll just be fine. He's gonna be back to being horrible again, huh? Oh my, what a terrible hardship you've all been through. 
Well, I don't see any need to discuss this with the others. Of course you can all stay here. Wow, hey, not bad! Thank you. Can't tell you how grateful I am for your kindness and hospitality. Think nothing of it. This is what neighbors are for. The important thing's that you're all safe and sound. Make yourselves comfortable in the town hall for now. We can figure out what to do once you're settled in. Told ya! Oh, thank goodness. This is such a relief. Oh, he doesn't trust. He doesn't trust at all. He... He knows the mayor's gonna be like, These guys! The reason that the village destroyed they weren't praying hard enough! We need to kill them so we, so we survive! Are you happy now, God? It's gonna be something like that, I bet. Zerker, huh? Okay. Um... Need... Need some of these Jack Garland. <laughs> Chaos. Um... Let's go to my Kill Zerker team. Sounds good. Keep them up, keep them surviving. That's the good stuff. Uh, my sins truly do run deep. I... God is within me. What do you think? I know you won't answer me, but I also know that you're listening. That's why I asked you back then what it was I should do. And now, here we are. I know what I'm doing, and I've made my peace with it. But even so, now that things have come to this, I can't help but wonder. The village is in ruins, lives have been lost, and people are grieving. Who can say this isn't the result of getting caught in that unescapable current? Is it what I... what we're doing here? Truly worth deceiving the Kaldians? What? 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 what, what? Ah, so this is where you've been hiding. I was just taking a midnight walk. What brings you here? Oh, it's you. I was doing the same. I couldn't sleep, so I thought I'd sit out and watch the moon. I see, I see. The moon really is lovely tonight. May I join you? Hm. I think it'd be best if you don't. If you mistake me for your wife again and try to, for instance, put your arm around me, we would lose a valuable fighter. Uh, forgive me. I meant no offense. Though I have no romantic feelings for you, I should still have chosen my words more carefully. My humblest apologies, Lakshmi. I'm afraid you'll have to enjoy the night sky alone, young king of bygone days. I'm going to go back to get some sleep. Hmm, strange. I don't even know how to describe this feeling. I mean, she shares the same essence as your wife. It's... It's pretty easy to see what's going on, and uh oh, Spaghetti-O! We've reached the the darkening. Whoa, it's such a surprise to wake up and see you here. Good morning, Mister. Morning. See you're as cheery as ever ever today. Uh huh. It's the one thing I'm good at. Good morning, Asha. Good morning, um. Why do you have that axe, Ajay? Damn Ulu. It's my job, of course. My dad's a great lumberjack. He cut down a tree this big in no time. A lumberjack, huh? That's a fine line of work. People can always use more wood. Shut up. So you're the ones who brought the people from Deval here, huh? This town doesn't have that much to spare, either. You'll regret that. No, we won't. Prakash welcomed them with open arms just yesterday. We were just about to... There you are! Uh, hello, Prakash. Is everything all right? You seem upset. I heard why you had to leave your village. Here it comes. It's because a pack of sacred beasts attacked it. Our god's own holy agents. The sacred beasts would never destroy a village unless it needed to be destroyed. It must have been irredeemably evil. No one from that village is welcome here. Hold it. We told you ourselves what brought us here. We told you what we had to done to earn the beast's ire and our reasons for doing it. You had no problem with any of it yesterday. You said that loving your neighbor was the most noble act anyone could... Oh, yes, I heard all about what you did. You abandoned your prayers and turned your backs on God. You took up corrupt arms against Kali and sacred beasts of light and slaughtered them with your own barbaric hands. Why, well, skipped. I didn't feel sorry for you, so I assumed you must have had no other choice. But that has nothing to do with our town. And yet you still had the gall to come here and shamelessly ask us for help. The sheer audacity of it all, your insolence sickens me. Wait, how are we back to this whole song and dance? Oh, I know, this is his evil twin, isn't it? Do you truly believe I would ever be deceived by such a simple trick? 
The meaning of a twin, twin, that twin, twin. Why does that word sound horrible for me? If a mere evil twin were all it took to fool me, I would shut up my business and retire to Sussex. Yeah, you're all filthy barbarians. That's why sacred beasts purified your village. You brought this on yourselves. You should all be ashamed. Now the villagers are joining in. Ah, they were all fine with this yesterday. What happened? Did they get brainwashed overnight or something? You might be closer to the mark than you think. It's said that people's hearts grow cold when a yuga cycle, even a normal one, nears its end. That lines up with my experiences too, but it's still a shock to see them change so much so quickly. Why is everyone so angry now? I don't like this. Told you so. Of course, I expect there's a bit of variance between individuals as far as this change is concerned. What a fascinating metaphysical law. Never mind that now, look. Shut up, you have no idea what we've been going through. Yeah, I'm sick and tired of forgetting the people I've loved. Don't you talk to us like that, you heretics. We are good people who keep the gods' laws. That's right, we want nothing to do with your blasphemy. I don't like this. The last thing we want is people fighting each other. I don't suppose it'd be any better if they were fighting things that aren't people. Like, say, a pack of decidedly inhuman things that are headed towards town as we speak. Hello. Well, it is the Devapara Yuga now. This is about the time when they should start to pick up the pace. It's the Kali! The Kali are here, everyone! Okay! Get ready to pray slash fight. Pray fight. Prayer fight. Prayer fight. Alright. Let's see what we got. Bitches, these guys shouldn't be much of a problem. Three of them here. Okay. All right. Um, get some attacks going here. One, two, three. Yeah, boy, with that blue efficiency down. It's not the easiest. Wow, you're going straight for him, huh? One, two, three. He should get enough in the next turn to uh, start his healing. Right? Oh, I was expecting him to get hit. Guess not. One, two, three. Now he will. Okay. Stop that. So let's go one, two, three to get even more. Mm, don't think this is going to be enough. That's nah, not. That's fine. We got healing, though. So let's go. One, two, three. That'll give enough for her to get hers for the next turn. Alright, what do we got now? I'm expecting a big Kali. Nope. Just a bunch more. It's fine by me. Yours is all enemies, so... Give that to you. Give that to you. Give attack up. And, uh... Attack up also to you. So let's go... One, two, three? Cause for a hundred percent? Sure. Let's give that a shot. Let's see how much we do. Big defense downs are always nice. Okay, so we'll definitely kill the middle and the front one, leaving us just the back. Nice! I say, of course, but my mental math might be 
super up, actually. We'll see. Yay, my math wasn't wrong. Alright, so... Let's finish this off. Very good. Yeah, Hokusai is quite useful in this Lost Belt. For sure. Out of all of them, I feel like she's one of the most. Okay. This scares me. This does. But, let's see. There's a caster too, huh? Honestly, I kind of want to just grab a good berserker. And just go to town. Grab your Raikou here. And then we can go with... You'll be good for that. You'll be good for that. We can then switch you off for a saber. Right? Because then we'll need that for you. And we can then... Yeah, that should be good. And actually, you know what? I'm going to be real. Uh, it's about time I start using... I don't use it too much, but I want to be able to switch my party members. So order change will be here. Because, yeah, there's different enemy types and we want to be able to switch them out if need be. Ah, is this it? Does this mean we were never any match for the Kali to begin with? Did you not actually fight them? Don't give up. Our greatest strength is our ability to work together. Follow my lead. I'll clear a way forward. Right. I can't believe it. They really are fighting back. Yeah, I don't get it. The ones in the weird outfits aside, they're just regular people same as us, right? Why would they do that? A giant has an axe! Mister... Akali broke through the wall! God protect me! God protect us all! Ah... Uh. Yeah, Jai with the axe combo. Jai class axer. Damn it, now I've done it. It's all their fault. Now that they've shown us we can fight back ourselves, my body just moved on its own. Well, there's nothing to be done for it now. Come on, Asha. Father? Prayers aren't going to do anything now that the wall's broken. The only thing I can depend on now is my axe. We're getting out of here, Asha. Those people are Ulu, but we've still got better odds sticking with them. Okay. Hey, what are you guys doing? Hold on, I'm coming with you. I'm not gonna let myself get eaten without a fight. Uh, wait up, I'm coming too. Wow, we're converting the whole village. Entirely accidentally. Master, look, more people are joining in on the fight. And not to get away from the Kali, but to help the people they're attacking. Lots of big help and all, but, uh... As I thought, there's nothing more inspiring than the sight of ordinary people valiantly fighting for their lives. Compared to that, a mere queen can only do so much. Of course, as I think someone once said, it also matters how brightly the one standing at the forefront shines. There it is again. You two have that sad look on your faces ever since we decided to try and win more people over to the Resistance. Is there something wrong with the people of this land fighting back? If there is, then please tell me. Uh, yes, we haven't told you precisely what will happen once this Lost Belt's tree of emptiness is cut down, have we? I'll let you decide whether or not to tell her. Well, we'll tell her, but now's not the time. <laughs> Tanner's right. I am commanding this mission. I have no plans to hide the truth. But this isn't the sort of thing you just drop on someone in the middle of battle. So for the time being, I'd ask that you just focus on winning the fight. The rest can wait until after that. I haven't heard much about this either. Whatever it is, it sounds very important. Uh-oh. She knows, I think. Uh, gee, yeah, we, we would would have told her, I think. <laughs> Lakshmi will explain everything after this battle, I promise. But there are even more Kali headed this way right now. We need to deal with them before we... Huh? Hello. An arrow just blasted those Kali away. Where did it come from? I can't believe it. It looked to me like it came from outside the town. <laughs> Gotta keep things even. Gotta keep things, even our God's judgment. At least sort of fair, seeing as I'm his servant and all. If the Kali unfairly outnumber the sacred beasts, it's my job to thin the herd, even if it is a pain in the ass. Huh. 
This is not good. I was hoping we could take our time with him after dealing with Asclepius, but now he's shown up on his own. The archer. William Tell must have killed those Kali's from quite the distance. Be careful, master. What? You're telling me he nailed them from that far away? Even a sniper rifle would have trouble at that range. Remember, he's a servant and an archer at that. We should assume his arrows are infused with magical energy. Nor can we assume his crossbow is less deadly than a modern assault rifle merely because it appears to be old-fashioned. Nonetheless, the sheer distance is absurd. Even my sharp eyes can't clearly make out his position. True, this is too much even for a first-rate archer. Maybe his, the divinity he has given has something to do with it. Just gun noises from his crossbow. An agent of God and the sacred beasts have come to save us! I knew our prayers would be answered. We're saved, everyone. We're gonna be okay now. Uh, yeah, damn Ulu. I don't know how I know this, but if those arrows end up hitting one of us by mistake, I can tell that God wouldn't lift a finger to help us. Stay back, Astra. Don't you dare get in front of me. I mean it. I won't. Thank you, Father. It's gonna be a difficult fight. Those arrows may be taking out Kali right now, but there's no telling when they might come flying toward us. I'm going to focus first and foremost on keeping you safe, Master. Whatever you do, make sure to stay behind my shield. Okay, so... Interesting. Interesting. So we're going to need to, like... We're going to need to, like... I just don't... Are the arrows going to be attacking us? I don't know, man. And is he, like, on our side or not? Okay, so this is going to be fine here. Um, let's do attack up. There's only three of them, so let's go one, two, three. Do as much as we can. Okay. Swagger. Ow. Ow. It is attacking them. All right. Good. Let's do some of this. Get rid of this guy. These guys are bronze. They're not going to be attacking much, so we want to get through them quite quickly. I mean, these, these the, 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 will they just do one each? No. Okay. Tell shot. Let's go. One, two, three. Because if we get healing going, that'd be quite nice. Like we will. Good stuff. Okay. Uh, let's go. One, two, three. Doing as much as we can. We'll also getting that healing going. And sea stars. Always easy to forget that you also get some stars out of that, which is quite nice. Okay, defense down, curse. It's actually helping quite a bit. He's doing a chunk of damage, which is like, heck yeah. Let's get enough for your super. Yeah, good. Okay, we got some Garudas and an Ucharavis, huh? Okay, well, let's do the most damage we can with you. Mystic Slayer versus Demonic, that should be good. Buster up. Hit that on you also. Hit this on you. Because that should give you none. Very cool. Buff up. And, um, you know what? I'm going to do something a little spicy. I'm going to switch you with you so that you can get um, Charisma going as well. And grab some stars. Wow. Because then I do this and we get more stars. She still gets like none. Charisma will give you more damage though. Uh, it did and it doesn't shuffle all the cards. Does this give you C star gather up? Yes, it does. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The strats here... You're... Well, 
if this was a boss, they'd be screwed currently. But oh, oh my. This is gonna this is interesting. I have not been using the the combat uniform much. But I think I will after this. I well I didn't even need to do more damage. But I would have abs thanks. I would have absolutely massacred if I needed to. Huh. That's intriguing. Well, wonder who we're fighting if he's an archer, huh? I wonder what his gimmick's gonna be. So yeah, he attacked us in that last one because there was no more um, Kali there, huh? That's the last of the Kali, but now... The sniper hasn't stopped. He's going after us now. Zahn is surprised. Given how openly you have been opposing the gods' rule, it would make sense he would be unwilling to let this chance pass him by. The good news is, neither is Kalepius or Svatimin are anywhere nearby. I suspect he just happened to catch sight of you while dealing with the Kali, and decided to pick you off as well while he was at it. Forget the cool-headed analysis, dammit! Make sure you have a wall between you at all times! Find a shadow to hide in! We are, but it's not... Can he curve the bullets? How the hell is he seeing you guys, and how the hell is he able to still snipe at you? The only way that makes sense is if his arrows can go around obstacles, you're wanted. Wa we're doing wanted? Okay. That might be exactly what's happening. I have an idea of how that could work. I was just told to share some more facts about India, since I didn't have anything better to do right now. The local inside this guy is probably Vayu, the god of wind. He'd be a great fit for an archer. Hanuman's spiritual father, huh? Well, that would explain how he was able to fly so nimbly. And also explain how he was able to control his arrows so freely across such vast distances. But he was also the spiritual father of Arjuna's brother, Bhima. Said to possess unparalleled strength. Well, gods don't come much bigger than him. So, uh, how are you going to fight him? I'm still barely managing to deflect his arrows, but the longer this goes on... <laughs> The usual to handle an archer is to get this close a distance and negate their range advantage. What do you say, Master? Shall we try that? Yeah, let's give it a shot. Wait, it's not safe to make a move without a plan. The plan is run. We can only deal with his arrows right now because we're keeping our feet planted. Let's just focus on every direction at once. She's right, one wrong move and that delicate balance will be lost. You're our most vulnerable target here by far, Tanner. If even one arrow makes it past Mash, it's game over. You see, I knew Shuddens were the most powerful class around. We'll have to make ourselves comfortable and settle in for the long haul here. Step one, break out that Kotatsu. I'd love one. No, by definition, that won't get us anywhere. I'll just have to go up there myself and sell this as quickly as you're a saber. I guess that won't work either, so we have a bit of a problem. At this rate, things aren't looking good either way. I can't afford to be concerned about appearances now. Maybe this is the time to come clean. About? But I can't help but wonder. Is she a Lokapala also? What are they hiding? I know they don't mean me harm. And they're just as devoted to winning this war as I am. But why do I sense such grim determination in their efforts? Mister, are you guys okay? Please stay back, Asha. We're fine, I promise. Damn, Ulu, I told you to stay behind me. Right. I should have known. Whatever it is they're not telling me, it doesn't matter. We have more immediate concerns. Your father is right. Both of you should stay back. But I do have one favor to ask. There must be a wagon somewhere in this town, or even a single horse and cart. Would you bring them here? Lakshmi? Is there some reason I should listen to you? No, there isn't. I'm asking a favor. No, not even that. I'm willing to offer payment in return. There's nothing wrong with motivating people with money or goods. I learned that back in the Rebellion. To be clear, they are the ones who will be paying, not me. Tanner, you must have something in the way of food or valuables, do you not? I mean, if you're okay with, like, the stash of jewels we have... You have jewels? Alright. Should be able to sell those for money for food. I'll be back soon. Come on, Asha. Okay. 
What's all this about? I have a plan. A plan that will let us take down that archer even while he continues to snipe at us. That sounds just like what we need right now. What exactly do you have in mind? Yeah, I don't see what we could do with a horse and cart except use them to charge straight at him. And that sounds like it'd be real hard. What if the archer shoots a driver the horse? And if we keep them safe, that would leave... Uh, Tanner wide open. I forget. I'm sorry, I'm bad with names. I know that. Unfortunately, it's difficult to explain, but I can say this. You will all ride the cart, I will ride the horse, and I will see you to him safely, I promise. You're um, certain about this? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll do this just because I've always done... It's... I'll... Whoa, whoa, what? I'll do this just as I've always done things and worked just as hard. No, even harder. That way... We'll be sure to get there. She's smiling. Does that mean she's really confident in her plan? Or it means she's going to kill herself as part of her secret noble phantasm, which means she can ride a horse real good and then dies. How's this? That's fine. You can go now. Just leave the horse there. But miss, that goes for you too. No need to worry about me. Just go and hide before you get hit by a stray arrow. Good. All right, on my signal, will you all get in the cart. I'll get the horse moving once you're all in. Don't worry about anything except keeping Tanner safe until we get there. Got it? Got it. Good answer. All right, let's go. Oh, so they came out, huh? Looks like they're planning to ride that horse-drawn cart all the way here. Of course, they must have known I'd pick off the horse first if they tried something like that. Well, let's see what they had in mind to deal with that. His first bolt will probably be coming any moment now. Keep your guard up. I will, but I expect he'll go after the horse first. Or maybe you. Please make sure you keep your guard up too. Uh, Lakshmi? I'm fine. Just my shoulder. No need to slow down. The hell? I know I was aiming for the horse. How did I miss? I pride myself on being a good hunter. I shouldn't have any problem taking down a domesticated farm animal. Let's try that again. Does she have a power to absorb bullets? Oh no, Lakshmi, you've been shot again. I'm fine. All you need to worry about is keeping Master safe. Yeah, but she's gonna die through this. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? What's going on here? The horse kicked up a stone that knocked my arrow off course and deflected it into the rider. This is freaking me out. I don't need to be hitting anything that one other one was aiming at. Oh, that was tough to say. Let's try a different target. I'll use Vayu's power to aim for the master five meters off the side. And she blocked it again, huh? Damn it, it happened again. It was a bird this time. What is hitting a bird's feather? Knock my shot off course and into the rider again. What is going on here? Is it a noble phantasm? A skill? Some innate trait? Does this have to do with how she died or something? Jeez. That's grim. Lakshmi, hang on. I can deflect those arrows with my... Stay there. Don't worry. This is just part of who I am. You being here would only muddy it. Or maybe you'd make it clearer? <laughs> Lakshmi. I told you, don't worry. These shots won't kill me. Won't kill me. They weren't aimed at me. Of course, if one of them does come directly for me, then it'll need to be deflected, but that's a job for my sword and my sword alone. Weird. Doesn't matter if I aim for the horse, the wheels, or the master. Everything hits the rider. It's like everything surrounding them is working to make sure I only hit her. But none of them are enough to kill her. It makes sense, so I wasn't trying to. Okay then, new plan. We'll just kill you first. There, he started to aim for me directly. I knew he would eventually. That's more like it. He certainly earned his fame. I can hardly tell where the shots are coming from, and it's all I can do to deflect them and avoid dying. Don't make me repeat myself again. I'm not slowing down. Just think about what you're do go uh, what you're going to do when we get there. Ugh. You can't stop me. I've always fought for my country. How could I not? It was true during the Sepoys Rebellion, and it's true now. I wasn't fighting for some greater meaning. I just had to keep moving forward to protect what I held dear. So that's what I did even before I knew what I was doing. 
I wavered, I hesitated, but I never stopped. The meaning can come later. What pushes me forward are all the reasons that lie behind me. I know what lies behind me now and is not my own country. I know it's not my homeland, Jahansi, but... They are still people, just like the people of my country were. What lies behind me, then and now, are people. People with homes, livelihoods, and families. So I'm not stopping for anything, goddess. Whatever happens to me, no matter how ugly things get, I can't stop until I get where I need to go. Damn it. Yeah, imagine being a guy who prides himself on shooting well, and you fight someone whose power is, you don't hit me. Or you hit, you only hit me. We're here. To think you never hit your target even once, William Tell. Talk about bad luck. All those arrows fired and I still couldn't bring you down. Guess you're even more slippery quarry than that scumbag of a vote, Gessler. I, I don't know. That's, I, don't, I know nothing about William Tell. We did it, Master. We made contact with the enemy. You okay, Lakshmi? Uh, fine, but as I said, I'm afraid the rest of you will have to take it from here. I still don't know how you did that, but we could never have made it here without your help. We won't let your efforts go to waste. Let's do this, Master. Long-range decks aren't going to be much help now. <laughs> I mean, watch him just, like, jump away and we have to run. Like, do crazy. Ah, I won't be. Nope. Okay. Um, so let's get a good... Okay, let's see here. What What's that do? Special attack divine. Well, I wonder if that counts, actually. That might be very useful. That might be very useful. Then otherwise, let's go to kill uh, Archer. And you know who I'm actually going to put on my team? I'm actually going to put on um, a... Let's put on a good, solid uh, ruler to help out. Yeah. Yeah, let's go like this. Because then we'll have you two kind of working together. Uh, instead of that, we'll get you... Let's get you uh, the Prisma Cosmos. Where could that be? Right there. Let's get you Meter Gain. Or, actually, what we could do is let's get you... Um, we could do this and then focus on getting mad crits. Because if that's... Because Skahawk is all about the greens, right? So getting those mad crits will be quite useful. What does this do? Apply Ignore Invincible and begin with 50%. Hey, that might be useful too. Okay. And let's switch you out. You know what? Let's, let's bring up you. And our last one will actually be... You. Okay. Alright. Let's give this a shot. Let's see how we do. I feel, I feel like this might be good. All right. What's your gimmick? Kiss of love. Nothing, huh? No gimmick. That's surprising. That's really surprising. So let's just start with this to get some basic stuff. Okay. Okay. All right. Um. Let's go one, two, three. Good stars. Yeah, that's what we want. That's cool. That's cool. His moves are sick. Um, so let's go... One, two, three. Good crits. Uri's Hunter. Skill Seal. That's not good at all. Especially because he literally knows that next turn we're going to be doing that. Okay, so let's do this. I don't th I think it's single target. No. Most of them aren't single targets. So let's do that then. Okay. Because, yeah, most aren't single target from what I'm aware. 
So let's just do this to hopefully let you guys survive. Alright. It is single target. Nice. Good, actually. Real good. Oh, he shoots the apple. That's cute. Okay. Um, let's go. You sure hit on now. Um, do I want to use it right now? Sure, why not? Might as well, because otherwise we're wasting meter, huh? Let's leave God Slayer off for now, because we don't need that right now. Let's go one, two, three to get meter with you then. This is so good. Oh no, we haven't. We don't have the update yet. The update makes it super rad. Okay. You're stunned. Critical up. Good. Good. Okay. Um. I don't know why we're not getting stars. And otherwise we can. So that'll decrease his strength. We don't want to do that right now. Chance to immobilize. It'd be nice if we could just immobilize right away. Sure, let's try it. Sure. One, two, three. Big meter up. Okay. And let's go one, two, three. Okay, unwavering presence, arts up, debuff immune. That debuff immune's not good. I was hoping to steal seals noble phantasm. Um yeah, it's because if we do that, then that'll have no effect. That sucks, but the good news is we can still do the thing with you. Um Okay. Let's go. Because we'll be invincible with your super, right? Yeah, apply invincible, restore HP each turn. So let's go one, two, three. Do as much damage there. Boy, defense and healing servants with your, you know, with, with one good attacker. That's the strat, baby. Especially because that won't, um, that won't work with, uh, the whole sure hit. It doesn't matter who you hit. He has cool moves, actually. I've never seen these. These are rad. These are really cool. Does this give you meter? Random effects. Let's give it a shot. Sea Star Gather Rate up. That's pretty good. That's really good, actually. Sure, let's give this a shot. Let's go one, two, three. Nice. Nice. Can you hit? Skahawk. Thank you. Good stuff. Um, so let's go one, two, three. All right. I think we lost the God Slayer. It looked like it's only for one. No effect. No stun. Dang. Well, that's fine. He just sells the debuff immune, huh? All right. Getting those critical misses. Okay, and let's go one, two, three, and that should finish it off. Nice. Goodbye. Now, you did run away. You're not done. You jumped away. Maybe he'll be like, yep, we're good. All right, I'm secretly on the good guy's side. You can tell because I'm, you know, European, and we were never the bad guys. And Lakshmi's going to be like, huh? Wow, no battle, huh? Color me surprised. Ugh, they're too damn close. I'm in trouble here. 
Time to get the hell out. Hey, after all that, you're just gonna run away? How do you know honor? Uh, Tell, I thought you fought against Tyrannies, not for them. That's right. I know your story, too. You were a brave hero, he hero who wanted nothing more than to protect your family. So why are you doing this? I don't know what you're on about. I'm just a hunter servant, bound by contract to do what his master orders. That's all there is to it. It's not my place to decide how this world should be. Woods are woods, as far as I'm concerned. I, I don't know, I wouldn't call this woods at all. Get back! <clears throat> don't bother, you're in no shape to go after him. We got some good hits in, that's enough for now. Though it does sting, knowing we've now let both him and Asclepius get away. He certainly made a quick getaway. Either he's using the Wind God's power, or that was his own innate skill. That aside, did you notice how well matched he was by the end? Seems you did quite a number on him. Considering I was initial assault had you pinned down to start, I would say this was a victory well earned. Indeed, and we all owe it to you, Lakshmi Bai. Your plan was more than a little reckless, but I have to admit that it worked. Although, I still don't know how all those arrows ended up hitting you. I was wondering the same thing. I mean, if any of us were going to be a human shield, I figured you guys would have made me do it for, you know, obvious reasons. How'd you do it? Not that I want to learn how myself. The only thing you'd get from sticking me with arrows is a bunch of lard and hot air leaking out. That gross. That was my inner goddess's power. I see. I never knew the goddess Lakshmi had any such ability. Huh? Why are you guys like that? Why are you guys like that? All right, that's enough. I was curious about that, but not overly so. Right now, I say we head back to town and rest up before things get really busy. Huh? What do you mean by that? Yeah, what What? what do you mean? Why is what's what? Hey, Ulu. Teach me how to fight. Uh-huh. And not just me. These guys, too. Now that we know it's possible to fight back, we've got no choice. You showed us the truth, so now you've got to help us learn to do it better. This is wonderful. They've all chosen to resist the Kali of their own accord. But that also means... You stood up bravely against the Kali and exposed yourself to unseen arrows. You should be proud, Lakshmi. It was not your words that inspired the people to fight back, but your actions. Oh yeah, you were like a saint or something, the way you charged ahead so recklessly and literally suffered the arrows of misfortune. It's almost like you're a literal face swap for one of our servants that we've had in that battle. I don't blame these guys for being impressed. A saint. As if that was even possible. At any rate, I'm happy to see you all ready and willing to fight. The fewer people believe Arjun is a god, the weaker he'll get. Looks like we just took our first step towards that. Yeah, that's, uh, that's great. You don't sound very excited about this. That does it. I think it's time we found somewhere to talk. Yeah, oh boy, here it comes. We got the talk, the big old talk. All right, out with it. Would you tell me what's going on already? What is it you know that I don't? Does saving these people have something larger implication I'm unaware of? Master. I'll tell you everything. No, we gotta. We gotta. To get keep to like honestly, that that can't be true. It is. Once we defeat this lost mouth's king and cut down its tree of emptiness, this version of India will disappear forever, along with all of its people. So I'm afraid that even if the rebellion is successful, there is no future for them. The only people who will benefit from our winning this war are us. I see. I had a feeling like something like that was going on here. Then. Even if these people win back their liberty, they are doomed to disappear? And you knew this all along? Uh, yeah. Lakshmi? Oh gosh, oh gosh, you guys really surprised me. Are you fighting? Please don't fight. No, we weren't fighting exactly. Really? Oh good, that's a relief. What is it? Is there something you wanted to see us about? Well, uh, I just wanted to thank you for saving us and to give you this. You look like you were hurt pretty badly, so I brought you some bandages and medicine. Are you okay, miss? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, you really do look okay now. Maybe I was just seeing things. Well, anyway, I'm glad you're okay. 
We're the ones who should be thanking you for getting us that horse and stuff. Thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I need to be alone right now. Got it. Yeah. Master. Yeah, it's 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 nothing. There's also a heroic spirit from proper human history. In time, I believe she will understand. But for now, I think it best that we give her some space. Oof, that's uh that's the first time we really had someone be like against that notion, right? Like not happy. Okay, I think this is where she told me to meet her. Oh? Hi. I think she wants to tell me something. There you are. I'm sorry to impose, but I had to talk to you all alone. Are we alone? There's this one right here. Oh, she's gone. Huh. I want to ask you something. I think you know what it is. I want to know what you think about the people of this world and about what's going to happen to them. For the moment, I would like to put aside our various titles, master, servant, queen, mage, and so on, and simply ask your opinion, one person to another. I want to know your honest thoughts without worrying about what anyone else might think. Ah, uh, I still haven't figured out everything, but uh, for now on, I'm just going to tell her what I'm thinking as best I can. So anyways, that's why we gotta kill them all, like, just brutally. I see. So in the end, this is the only path available to you. Outside of this India, proper human history, well, Earth itself has been completely destroyed. And to save it, you have no choice but to cut down these trees of emptiness. Yeah, it's kind of what I'm fighting for. You remind me of myself back during the rebellion. You mean the one from India from your time? Back then, I never thought about what the future might hold. There were only things I had to do and only one path available to me. The path of fighting to protect my homeland, so that's what I did. I didn't have some larger plan in mind, like driving every last one of the British out of India or destroying Britain itself. The truth is, I never stopped to think about what the future might hold. Though it should have been obvious that, win or lose, there would be more to done once the war was over. Then again, I suppose my options were so limited and the path I had to walk so difficult that I didn't have the luxury of thinking about anything besides what was right in front of me. Still, regardless of what that future might hold, if I know the path I'm taking is the right one, and I know I have to go down it, then that's exactly what I'll do. I think deep down, that's just who I am. What I'm trying to say is, I'm in no position to judge anyone for the hard choices they have to make under unprecedented circumstances. At any rate, I'm glad you told me what you really think. Just knowing that you do feel bad for the people in these lost belts is something of a relief. So what are you going to do now? I still don't like this. But I also have no intention of letting this false god continue to have his way with these people. We may ultimately only be putting this problem off until later, but right now the only way to protect them is to keep doing what I've been doing. So that's what I'm going to do. I hope this means you'll keep helping us. <laughs> You're an odd one, aren't you? Not many people could say something like that so readily. You know, I have to ask, why did you come here when I asked you to? Didn't it occur to you that I might decide to kill you in order to keep these people safe? Yeah, but I'm stupid. You give it some thought and say, you felt the same way she did. You go on, ignoring her perplexed expression. You say that, just as she called you here to talk to you person to person, you also felt like it. you had a responsibility to do the same for her. Alright, there's one more thing I wanted to ask of you. This isn't to judge or condemn you, I just want to make sure you, I understand. Is it true that you've erased the people in three other Lost Belts already? Yeah, it kind of is. We can go back there to, like, grind, but they're basically gone. What an expression. I can tell he's not lying or gone mad with power. Neither is he ignorant of what he's done, willing fully, willfully or otherwise. This perfectly ordinary human child- Hey, I'm almost old enough to drink. Simply knows what he has done and accepted it as best he can. Alright. That's all I had to say. 
Sorry for keeping you up so late. I said that you and I have some things in common, and then you've shown me that we have no choice but to walk the same path. So for the time being, nothing needs to change. I will continue to fight this false god alongside you. You may disagree on some things, but right now, the shared goal is all that matters. You may treat me the same as that Pepperuccino person. If you think it'd be best to be wary of me or to get rid of me, then you're free to do so. I don't worry, I trust you. You're a Jean face. I wonder... Could you still say that if you knew my ugly secret? I wonder when you're going to tell us that. Was Mash here just to be careful? Just in case we did get jumped? Huh. Huh. Hey! Weakened by the spirit of rebellion. Nice. That's good to see. Uh, oh boy. The price of loss. That's fun. Alright guys, we'll see you next time for some more. Let's play Fate Grand Order. We are still going through this quest. Just, just to be, uh, so, cause like, we're on section 13. Um, Lost Belt 4 walkthrough. How many sections are there? Cause we could be like, right nearly done it. Or we could be, like, not. Uh, there are 20 of them. Okay. All right. So we're, like, a little over halfway through. Well, we'll see how long they are by the end, if they're going to be, like, this long. But, all right, guys. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time for some more. Let's play Fate Grand Order. Ciao.